Hello, earners. Happy Sunday. Believe it or not, we are officially at session eight for personal branding, our very last class. I can't believe the time has already come. It came so, so, so fast. Um, but I'm definitely excited for us to finish up this course um, and definitely, you know, get the last bit of the material. Um, I hope you are all excited. I'm looking forward to seeing more faces, especially today, the last class, guys. Turn those cameras on, throw some fire in the chat if you're excited to get started. I know that you're, you're all excited because, you know, you've been putting all that time and work in from the get and now we're here officially finishing up this course. So let's get ready to get started. Rashida, we are so happy to have you and I can't believe it's <laughs> the last class. The last class. What's up, moneymaker? All right, look, y'all, seriously, anybody who was in the personal branding class, those are the people who are trying to make money. Because imagine having a business with no customers. Mm, how you going to call that working? How is that working, y'all? If you got a business, you're going to set everything up, but you ain't got no customers. You ain't got nobody knocking on your door because the personal brand, setting up your personal brand is definitely going to help your business brand. So we're going to finish up the few slides that we had from yesterday. So we're going to jump right in. Does anybody, what, before I start, does anybody have any questions? Because I know we had two questions. Yes. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Mercedes. Theodore, thank you for coming on camera. Damon, welcome, welcome, welcome. Darius, Sheena, I see y'all in the house. All right. I know some more people probably will trickle in because yesterday on a Saturday, we were still, we were still popping a little bit. Okay. Um. All right, so let's dive in to, to finish up yesterday, and then we'll get right in with today. It's the last session. Ooh, I know y'all can't wait to start implementing, right? Y'all ready? Theodore, you ready? Damon, you ready? All right, now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. All right, housekeeping rules. We already know y'all are the BOMB with that. So we don't have to worry about that. And sad face, but happy face. We are at week four, our last class. Okay. And today we're going to be talking about, um, oh, well, that's from yesterday. But today we're going to be talking about just some tips for social media. Okay, that you need to take, you're going to take action, but you also, we want to go over the different major social media platforms. That way, just to give you some tips on what to post uh, in those and, you know, what they're good for. Okay, because each platform is slightly different, but again, we're going to make it simple and easy on ourselves by making sure we post the same content throughout all of our social media. Um, but sometimes you may have to tweak a little bit here and there. Okay. All right, trying to get my chat up here. All right, so yesterday we stopped right here and we were talking about things that we need to take action on. So posting about our hobbies and our passions. We wanna make sure that we are doing, that we are posting about our hobbies, not just staying focused on uh, business items, right? Remember, we're building a personal brand. So your personal brand, you still wanna showcase who you are, what you like, right? So in between your industry, business, and career post, right, you're going to post about your hobbies and passion. You might be a great baker, okay, or you might be real great, good at throwing parties, um, or a seamstress, chess player, martial arts. I had a coworker who was really into uh, jiu-jitsu, and so I, he would post about that. He wasn't very big poster, but he when he posted about his hobby, people were engaged. Hey, you might be a good hunter or um, into archery or fixing old cars, all right? Dibbling, dabbling in makeup, whatever it is, a shoe collector. Well, I don't know. That could be a good thing and because y'all know how shoes are in that industry. But, you know, you could post, post your shoes. We don't want nobody come get you, though. We don't want you to get got. Um, but you know, these tidbits are going to make you more memorable. Okay. Every day you want to add something that's gonna, you know, make people think about you. Oh, 
So every now and then I post cakes on my uh, wall, cakes or cookies, things that I bake because I do baking, okay? Or you might see a picture that I took, like I took a picture for my brother because he was writing a music album. I did, my mom wrote a book, so I did a picture for her. So I might post the pictures because I used to do photography, but those are just hobbies for me. I'm not trying to make money. And well, no, baking. Yeah, I do make money there, but I will post about my photography just, you know, when I can. Okay. Um, Because it used to be a side hustle. But what are some hobbies that and passions that you have? What are some things? I'm really big on, you'll see me post about volunteering because I'm really big on volunteering. Um, Not so much in latter years. I got back to it, but I had to take a sabbatical, y'all. Too much uh, pleasing other people was was getting in the way. So what's a hobby or passion that you have that you can post about? about? Working out, fitness. Okay, excellent. Love it. I do that in my stories. I've been posting. I just, I haven't been able to post lately, but I still got the video. So I'm just going to post them. All right. Working out is great. Cooking. Awesome. Imagine cooking and, you know, teaching a lesson while you're cooking. Okay. They could work and it doesn't have to be long. All right. Salsa dancing. Ooh, I love traveling. You can take us with you, Lauren. Yes. Self-care. Okay. Well, maybe you have, that's your hobby. Self-care. Show us the different ways and how you self-care, um, because remember, we still got to keep it interesting, so you're going to have to make sure you give us some different ways that we can self-care, all right? Skiing, oh, that's, uh, yes, okay, maybe you're an artist, maybe you have, uh, I keep trying to get my coworker like, hey, I need you to publish that comic book that, <laughs> that, because he writes, comics books for for his hobby you know share if you write poetry share some of your poetry um or spoken word you know drawings all kind of things um if you like to come up with quotes you just a fanatic about words whatever it is definitely make sure you post about it okay so love to see that all right next Okay, you want to make sure you are taking action by engaging and commenting. All right, we're going to remember we're treating our personal brand like a business. So you're going to post on and engage with blogs, forums, different companies, okay, um, industry leaders, social media. Okay, you can comment anytime. That's the good thing about this is that you don't have to worry about when to when to uh, comment, right? Because you can do this in bed or, you know, well, that might be your downtime and you're like, okay, I don't take any electronics in the bed. I'm trying to calm down, but you can do this anytime. So it doesn't have to be done from nine to five because people, it's not as in, invasive as sending a text message, right? We don't want to send a text message at 2 a.m., but we can send a, we can comment and on people's posts at 2 a.m., right? Um, so this is going to embed you in the internet, right? You're going to get likes, followers, you're going to gain likes, followers, and, and your personal, you're going to be building your personal brand, right? Um, even when people have, if a person has like under a million followers on Instagram, more than likely they will see the comments that you post underneath their, um, their posts. Okay. Uh, and some sometimes people are having other people man, manage their accounts, okay? But at the same time, you know, your post, your comment that you put under there, other people will be able to see that, right? Um, they're going to read your comment. And sometimes they might even pin your comment at the top. I know that's big in YouTube now, like where you can pay to have your comment pinned. So when you attend some of the live sessions that people have, so I didn't even know that, but I noticed it and then I went to research. I was like, oh, okay but you can still do it in other places as well. And sometimes um, while people are scavenging the internet or the social media site, sometimes they'll, your comment might be from six months ago and somebody will comment. And so it happens, right? I'll go back to some of my yearly posts and comment, okay? 